Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing beautifully well. Today we're going to get on with some cool viewer requested questions. And a massive thanks to you guys because you've sent so many viewer requested questions you don't want to know how long the list is. And the cool thing is they're all really cool stuff, really interesting questions. The new testing. So first, new from uh, I... A-S-O-U-2005, uh, can you kill your pilot by ejecting? And that's interesting, and this is this, this is not about real life, this is about DTS, obviously. We like to test how accurate DTS is to real life, and gives us talking points. Is pilot survivor survivability modelled in DTS? I would love to see how well the pilot survives in various ejecting scenarios. Supersonic, zero, zero, high altitude, into the, just guys to say this, into the rotor blades of a helicopter, getting shot at by sociopathic cannon fire with the enemy, etc. Comments from ISO the boss shooting a pilot ejecting from his aircraft is a war crime. Why would we want to commit war crimes? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll delete that ISO. Uh, Cap loves war crimes. So this is this is interesting, uh, and there are some silly ones, silly bits here, and some interesting ones. So let's talk about real life supersonic. Uh, ejection. The ejection seats aren't really designed to be used at fast speeds as in supersonic. My understanding is if you eject swell supersonic I think it's about a 50-50 chance of living uh, like just just over the supersonic barrier so 1.1 1.2 maybe. Now someone I remember in an F-15 did I think 1.1 1.2 uh, because he couldn't get out of his dive and he ejected and he survived and he lived and probably still alive and whatnot, but it, you know it was he was seriously injured. All of his, you know, both arms smashed, both legs smashed, and very very lucky to survive. As soon as you put someone in wind flow of seven eight hundred knots, you know humans don't survive that shit. The seat will, but the human won't. Zero zero. Does anyone know what zero zero is? Am I missing the obvious? Being able to eject from a plane that's not moving. Roger. Be safe. <laughs> How interesting. I didn't think, oh, okay, zero altitude, zero speed. How interesting. I never thought there would ever be a, a problem with doing that, but okay, interesting. High altitude, obviously, is a problem. Humans don't survive at high altitudes. Now, um, obviously, in the SIL-71, maybe the U-2, I can't remember, you have pressure suits, and that's presumably so that if you have to eject, then you can survive because they're up at 90,000 feet. Humans can't. What's the human threshold? Is it 63,000? Did you say, I'll see? Yeah, 63,000. Uh, above 63,000 starts the uh, physiolog physiological environment of space. So basically the human body doesn't survive due to a lack of pressure, I believe, and you get right. really nasty things happening to the body. Nothing in DCS has a pressure suit. No fighter planes that I'm aware of, at least, have uh, pressure suits. Definitely not in DCS. So if I go and eject at 100,000 feet, that pilot's pretty sure we're going to die due to exposure and lack of pressure. Is that going to be modelled? Don't know. Absolutely no idea. We'll have to see. Funny kind of paradox there I see is that the SR-71 did have pressure suits, but the SR-71, when it's going high altitude, is pretty much always Mach 3 from what I've read in the books. So how anyone survives going just uh, Mach 3 you know, I don't think it's possible as far as I'm aware. However, someone did link something about Jack Yeager linking, uh, ejecting at Mach 3. So, I, I'm, you know, I'm not an expert. I don't really know, but it's just what I've read. Into the rotor blades of a helicopter. I mean, it's actually quite an interesting question. How fast does an ejection seat go? Would it be able to get through, you know, something, you know, if you shot a bullet through the rotor blades, it probably wouldn't hit. 95% chance it wouldn't hit. It's going so fast, it will go just go between them. Would an ejection seat go between them? <laughs> no idea. No idea. Silly one, but I guess we can sort of try it. Getting shot at by so sociopathic cannon fire from enemy. That's got my name written all over it. I can cover that one. You can see that I am situated beautifully under the heavy rotor. You've got five, six rotors on that thing. I can't remember. You've got a lot. Under heavy rotors of an MI-8. So we're going to test two in one here. One, can I go through the rotors? Almost certainly I will be able to because why are they bothered programming it? Two, uh, can I do the zero, zero ejection? Are you ready for me to eject RC? Yes. What? RC is ready for me to eject. Yours. Three, Too two, loud. one. Good luck, sir. <laughs> don't lose your heads! Right through the blades. Why don't you eject as well, just for the lol? See if I suck you into my intake. I can't eject. Can I? Yes, of course you can eject. Everyone can eject. Oh, I guess I can, huh? Do it. Valued viewers want to do it. I ejected. You ejected! Oh, you just you just disappeared on my screen. Ah, you got sucked <laughs> into my Pegasus. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... I don't... I'm not <laughs> in there anymore. Well, there you go. That is one perfectly healthy uh, Harrier Supercap. So that is that there. Right, next we're going to go and jump in my Tomcat. Stand by. Okay, myself and RC in. RC's probably loading. <laughs> I can see a little RC head wiggling about. Uh, what's it next? It's supersonic. Power on. 
Wait for the eject. I'll eject us. No, actually, you can eject us. Not yet. Go, beautiful F-14. To space. That's a fast plane. Okay, we're in some, I don't know, fight against the Algerians here. Are we going to go down fast? That's Mac. Wait for it. Mac 1.2. Going down to 800 knots. Okay, we're not going to get much faster than Mac 1.2. Eject us when you're ready, RC. Okay, here we go. Eject, eject, eject. Ah! That was supersonic low altitude. I'm fine. You fine? I'm fine. Oh, I see you, RC. Hello, RC. <laughs> it's quiet out here. All right. Uh, well, that clearly was fine. Yeah. Next, let's do supersonic at high, uh, at medium altitude. Stand by. Okay, RC. Now we're trying at medium altitude. Uh, and we're going to go for high max. So stand by as I put her in a dive. Yeah, I said it. Put her in a dive. Meow. That is one fast Tomcat. Okay, Mac. Coming off of Mac 2, I'd be amazed if anyone survived this out of a Tomcat. Well, I can tell you now, I'm pretty sure they won't. Okay, we're not getting any faster RC punches out of Mac 2. Ah, this is gonna okay, hurt. Go ejecting. This is gonna hurt. Woo! Wow! Look at that plane go! Where's you RC? Wow, we're up high. I didn't eject. Yeah, <laughs> you loser! Oh no, go. you did, you did. Hello RC! I'm still on the plane. Well, if, can you see the stream? Can you see what I'm looking at now? Yeah, I see. It. <laughs> Something's not right here. Something's not right. I don't know what. This is not supposed to work. This this is not I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I am still on the plane. Well, it appears that... Why are we falling? I don't know. I haven't got the altitude on. Oh, yes, look, we're falling. <laughs> we 30, 34,000 feet. Okay. Now, that oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> is interesting. I wonder if uh, yes, it's to keep the oxygen going so this might be altitude. realistic uh, valued viewers it might be this is what they yeah. do and they don't that's what um, it is it's keep keep the oxygen going until you hit a certain altitude also it might because we jump it might be because we were so fast as well because i mean yeah you you're right because you got your uh, oxygen you can see there on the left your backup oxygen how interesting so it, this will be like Planes this until ten thousand feet <laughs> well, this will be like this until 10,000 feet, RC, when air comes, yep. or, you know. DCS, and it literally and its best right now. I guess we just sort of wait. I just don't think I've ever noticed that before. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't noticed. Uh, you know what? I've never ejected up here before. I've always ejected that down low. That could be just a F-14, too. Maybe, maybe. Very interesting. It probably is Spain plane-specific, but obviously I don't know. It might hand it over to ED at this point. I don't know. Isn't it cool how we're in perfect formation, RC? That's pretty cool. I can. Do you want to hold hands? Because we're quite close to each other. It's almost like we're linked together. <laughs> it's almost like this isn't real. Even though I'm still on the plane flying well, around. All right, we're going to start getting air soon. Because we're at 16,000. Have you noticed the. Oh, yes, there we go! Oh. Woot, woot! Woot, woot! There so now I'm out of the plane. Now we're, so now we're on. on now we're not on oxygen yeah. anymore. Well, the other thing is, RC, the, the, the other 10, interesting thing is, going 10, as well as oxygen, those seats are going to help us uh, because just if our if our bodies were ejected from the seats at Mach 2, our bodies would just be shredded like chicken um, because the human body doesn't take, you know, Mach 2, while the seat sort of can-ish. Uh, so that's very interesting. Wow. So that's um, done some good stuff. Happy with that. Right. Uh, the only other thing to test... Well, that that's pretty much answers the question. It just stays on the sea. Oh, no, but no. High altitude next. Because remember, the human body will yeah. die um, in a non-pressurized suit. So next, we're going to go how see how far high we can go. Okay. We're now going for the height, uh, the altitude record. We've got to get over 63,000 here to uh, crush our puny little bodies. Boom. Super cat. In a super cat. 58 viewers. 58 viewers on a Sunday morning. Sunday. Okay, I'm going up, RC. I wish you the absolute best of luck. Slash, hope you die. Boom! Damn, that's a sexy plane. That is a sexy plane. And okay, we're above Angel 63. So that is now above what our puny bodies can... Puny terrestrial bodies. I'm going to go for a last minute hike. Come on, yep, little this pain. altitude, you need a pressure. Yeah, we's going to die. We's going to die. Let's do supersonic. Yeah! Supersonic at uh, 100 knots. Int's going to lie. Int's going to. 80,000. We are not surviving. We're not surviving. A lot of buffeting. A lot of buffeting. 
Ah, the wings are opening. Force them closed. Force them closed. Still going up, RC. <laughs> I'm glad they fixed it. Your rocket ship. Ah. Speed. I can barely read it. 60 knots. Oh. Rolling. Yeah, coming down pretty soon. Yep. Eject, eject, eject. Okay, here we go. Eject it. Ah. Bye bye, aeroplane at 60 knots. I'm dead. You're dead? I'll see what happens. I think so. Remember, the Rio always dies, the pilot survives. That's the rule of high altitude ejection. Because I'm looking at the airplane right now. I don't see me. Do you see me up there? No, but let's face oh. it, you are less important than me, RC. Oh, look, the plane's just. <laughs> Where's the plane gone? Oh, wait, there it is. is I see the plane. I see the plane. the plane. I don't care about you. I want to know about my beautiful oh, airplane. I'm over there. Yeah, I see you, RC. You're fine. You're just okay. complaining like normal. Yeah. Look at it go. I'm just. Look at it go, it's no, got itself in a flat spin, RC. Poor Tomcat. Oh, yeah, That's going to take about 30 years to get down to the ground. I feel fine, I'm not blacking out or nothing. So, um, again, we think I sh we should be dead. We think, due to the lack of pressure, we should be dead. And obviously, you've got extreme cold. Um, I stand to be correct, I don't really know, obviously. I'm not a physiologist. But um, I guess it's just going to fall now and open up at Angel's 10. And I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here. Uh, and wait for it, but it's interesting, RC. Yeah, I'm, I am in a seat. I see it. Okay. All right. Um, I'll just give a few, give a couple of mics just in case we do. Um, I wonder how well sound travels up here because there's not actually much air pressure. No, I think we're going to survive this, RC. So uh, yeah. you're going to have to draw your own conclusions from that because I don't fully understand how the pressure would you know, how fast it would kill us. Uh, so all we've got to try is shooting each other down. Um, needless to say, you're going to get shot, RC. So... Oh, there's the plane. Where? Oh, I see him! Look yeah. at his cons! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened? I think it broke up or something. It broke up, yeah. Some no, those are the cons, those are the cons. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, the engines are still running, so why not? It's in a perfect flat <laughs> spin, look. <laughs> no! Yeah. Tom Gad want to land! Bless it. Bless its little <laughs> cotton socks. Right, well, that's going to fall for like another three months, so uh, uh, let's go and set up the shooty shooty. Okay, RC, I guess um, a gentleman ready. Miles. There I gotcha. I'm coming, RC. We locked a friendly. Ah! Oh! oh I'm still fine. Try and get I'm you. Good. You're good. It might be better if I just try and... Trying to shoot his parachute down in the um, supersonic F-14 is a really stupid idea. So, what we're going to do, wait for it, wait for it, is eject you out of your little palace of safety, RC. Out you go. Out you go, RC. Come on. Go. Yeah. You've just got to press left control and E three times. I know you've never done it before, but... Whee! Get some! Can you shoot me in the air? I'm not a very good shot, just like an... Art. Hey, you're not dying. <laughs> you're not dying! <laughs> Got him! No, I didn't. Wait, is he gonna get up? Is he gonna get up? He's gonna go up! Right. When a pilot absolutely needs to die. i wait for it, RC. High explosive. Get some! Ow! He will not die. <laughs> nope. Keep shooting me. I'm still. I'm Damn fine. you're tough, RC. You are really tough. Where's the Harrier? Get some! Get some! Get some, you mother! <laughs> Woo! Not my plane. Yow! Ooh, the Pegasus died! <laughs> the mighty Pegasus died! Well, you heard it here, folks. Pilot survivability is very high in DCS. Very high. I mean, if it was me out there, I could probably take this punishment, but the average guy, no can part you roll of over me? Oh, yeah, let's see if we can squeeze him. If I can remember the buttons, which I can't. There we go. Get ready for the squeeze! You need to lose Sam's weight! <laughs> Bennett! I'm over here. Right here. I see you. I'm going over you now. Squash! He's perfectly God damn it! Even the concussion of that 120 would kill you. Yeah. I'm fine. Well, um, that's answered all your questions on pilot survivability. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.